Hi. Today's a lit or this week is a little bit different. We're not going to be doing a writing packet, which I'm sure you're probably super psyched about and your parents probably are too. Um, we're going to be doing uh, this week and possibly into next week, we're going to be doing a little time capsule for kind of what's going on right now. I want you guys to be able to uh, make something that you can come back to and read in a few years. And I'm, this, we're making history right now. This is something that doesn't happen. It's never happened in my lifetime. And uh, I want you to make sure that you guys are um, documenting what's going on so you can uh, remember um, such a an important part of your childhood. Um, so, and and I want this to be a way for you to reflect your feelings about it because this is really hard and it can be a scary time and it can be a time where all of us don't really know what to think or how to feel and so we can all process this together. Um, so what we're going to do is you guys are going to make a Google slide presentation. It's the presentation has already been made for you. Um, you're going to be editing your own personal stuff into this. So please follow these instructions carefully. Um, just remember that this is for you. I'm going to check and see that you're doing it. Um, but I'm not going to grade you based on your answers. You know, I'm not going to say, oh, that, you know, when it says, what's, what's your favorite, you know, music, I'm not going to be like, no, that's wrong, because this is yours. I just will be grading it based on how much effort it appears you put into this. How, you know, how much thought did you remember capitalizing? I'm going to be checking for that kind of stuff, okay, because you should know it by here, by this point in your education. Um, so to use the digital version on Google Slides, you must first click on the link below. You do need, uh, they, they said that you do need to use a computer. Okay, so if you're on an iPad, uh, please uh, grab your Chromebook or a computer. At once, I think you're in there. I'm not sure you have to use a computer every time, but you do need to access this, uh, they said, using a computer at least the first time. Um, once you follow the directions, you can, you're going to save a copy of the digital file into your Google Drive. Um, I'm assuming most of you have your um, initial or your picture here. You're already uh, signed into your Google Drive, which is your at Granite School or gra at Granite SD dot org account. Um, it's the same account that you're logged into when you access our Google Classroom. Um, so you're going to click on this, and it's going to take you to a screen that says Copy Document. You're going to click the blue button that says Make a Copy, and it's going to transfer the file to your Google Drive. So you're going to click on this. And it's going to say, would you like to make an editable uh, digital time capsule? You're going to click this button that says make a copy. And it's going to think about it for a sec. And then this is going to come up. This is yours. Now what I would like you to do is take out copy of editable and replace it with your name. Not actually your name. So I would write Jenny Gelwix. Okay. Uh, Reese would write Reese Morrison. Okay, I'm not going to spell everybody's names out. Roman Surprise, Cade Miller. You're going to write your name on there. Okay, while you're doing that, oh no, should be right there. While you're doing that, you uh, will want to share with me. Okay, and you can do the Granite Schools, don't do .com or you can do granitesd.org. Okay, and my picture doesn't show up here because this actually transferred to my Gmail account, which is strange. Um, and maybe that's one thing it did say in there um, that you will want to make sure you know where it's going to. So this might go to your parents. So make sure when it's saving that you're saving it to your Google account. So I'm going to share this with myself. Okay. Um, uh, but I'm going to see if I can take this. Yep. So all I did here, if you, if it somehow signs you into, because it signed me into my personal Gmail account, which is that picture. All I did here was click on it. So if that's like your parents account and, uh, if your account doesn't pop up, then you can add it. And then all you do after you've added that account is then click on it and it will open.
open this in there. Okay. And see, it, it even kept the name. So you're currently signed in. Excellent. Okay, so you today are going to do, and this is already saved now, but you're going to do um, slides three, four, and five today. One and two are more introduction type slides. You're going to do what I look like, things I like, and things I like. Um, I'm not assigning a lot of pages at once because I want you to really put your best effort into this. Okay, please remember to capitalize the titles of books. Song titles. Song titles should also have quotation marks around them. The names of specific games. So if you love Monopoly, okay, that is a specific game. It needs to be, um, it's the name of the game. So it needs to be capitalized. But if you, you know, it's like soccer, you don't need to capitalize that. But you do need to capitalize the names of specific brands of food. So if your favorite drink is, you know, Dr. Pepper, which hopefully, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's up to your parents how much caffeine you have because everything's different. But whatever it is, if it's Sprite, if it's Coke, whatever it is, those need to be capitalized. Okay. So um, I already said to make sure I showed you how to share your slides with me. Make sure you put your name in the title. Uh, I would recommend doing that first. But you are going to uh, do what I look like. Okay. Where it says your text here, click on it, and you're just going to, you can either backspace this way, or you can highlight it and backspace, and it will take it all away. But there's a text box here. So your age, you know, I'm going to put in that I'm 38. Now, that looks kind of weird, doesn't it? Look at how it looks so weird. So you can also change the size of the text box. So I can make it smaller, and you can also highlight that, and you can... Come up here and you can change the size. So that might look a little better, a little bit better. You can also move your text box. Okay. So this is the kind of thing I'm giving you extra time to make it look really awesome. Okay. If you know, if you have the tiny little age right there, it just doesn't look as good as if it looks like you obviously put some time into making sure that the size matched where I mean if this is this size, your answer should be about this size. Um, your weight, your height, your shoe size, photos. What you want to do here is, if you don't have a photo on your computer of you, then you could. I would recommend going in and taking a selfie on your computer right now. Um, but you'll go to Insert, Image, an image is a picture, and then Upload from Computer. Okay, so uh, when you upload from computer, then you're going to find wherever it is. Um, mine are in my downloads, and I got this ready. Okay, and now it's going to come in and it's all off. But you can change the size of your pictures. Obviously, it's very apparent that they want it in this box. So you can move it into the box. Now, the corner. The, uh, the corner boxes are going to make it bigger, smaller, and keep your propor proportions correct. If you take the ones that are in the middle of the bottom, the middle of the size, the middle of the top, it's going to stretch you and make it look weird. So when you change the size of your pictures, only do the corners. Okay? Only do the corners. So fill all that in. You're going to do that slide three, slide four, things I like. Look, there's that text here. Okay, remember you can move the text box. If you need more room, you can make your text box bigger. You can move it this way. You can move it this way. Because remember to take out your text here. Okay, because you're, and you can change the color of your, so my favorite books. I could write Matilda, and the title of books should be underlined. Okay, now let's say I want each uh, title of a book to be a different color. Come in here where the text color is, and I'm going to, this is how I make your assignments all different colors. But maybe I'll make Matilda green, okay? Maybe I'll make a different font for each one. That's the font for your assignments. Maybe I'll put it in bold. And then over here, the align, this is off to the left. I could put it in the middle. Oh, well, this one, oh, there it is, okay? So now it does say books, so I expect you to put more than one, okay? And this could be all time. I could put in there, my one I love, an elephant and piggy book. 
that says waiting is not easy. Milo's four. I could still put that book in there. It doesn't mean that I'm a baby. It just means that I enjoy that book. Okay. Favorite music. It could be uh, artists. It could be a genre of music. So it could be like hip hop. Or you could have a specific artist. that I love Selena Gomez or whoever it is. Okay. Um, so fix that. Put, uh, put stuff in there. And then there's slide five. Things I like. Your favorite games your favorite food and drink. That's what you're doing today, but I want you to really make this memorable, make this uh, very obvious that you did your best. Okay, so you're gonna do those three. It's going to automatically save it tomorrow. You will come back and start with six. I'm not sure exactly how many you're gonna do tomorrow, but please do not, do not move ahead because I only want you, I want you to spend the time on just the three slides. We're pacing it out so that you can put your maximum effort into three slides a day or however many we have. Okay? Excellent.